Hey everyone, it's Affiliate Watch back at you with another video and today I'm very excited to show you how to do rich snippets and improve your SEO and dominate the search engines in 2018, 2019. And I am gonna show you this and I'm also gonna show you with code examples and I'm gonna leave a link down to the code uh, below so you can literally copy and paste and slightly change it into your website and be good to go. I'm also going to show you how to validate these tags and I'm going to show you the different options out there. So let's get down to it. Let me show you what we're going to do today. So we're going to do two different rich snippets. So if you search a big company, usually you'll see something like this. I searched DigitalOcean and you can see uh, the CEO when it was founded, the headquarters, the number of employees, the founders, as well as all the social profiles. I used to think that this was Google doing this. But no, this is all about a rich snippet. And I'm gonna show you how to do that. I'm also gonna show you, let me zoom in, how to do the, the breadcrumb snippet. So you can see a breadcrumb basically navigation and see uh, maybe the category name or something of that nature. And it's, it's pretty easy to do. And once you're done with it, you're going to want to go to search console and you're going to want to refetch your site and after a few hours it should pop up i just uploaded mine so nothing's popped up yet and then this tool right here if you search structured data testing tool this is how you can test and you can test with a url however if you're if you're just uh working on it you usually want to test your code before you send it live to your live URL. So you can also paste your code here if you click the code snippet tab. And let me show you the code. So this is going to go on every single page of my website. This is the organization snippet. This is what I just showed you with the digital ocean example. And you're going to put your organization name or your company name. In this case, it's affiliate watch. That's our company. And we're gonna put our URL, which is affiliate.watch, and then a link to our logo, the founding date, and then this same as array, uh, this is all your different social URLs. And I do wanna mention something important. Uh, you can search like Google organization, rich snippet, social supported profiles, or something of that nature on Google and they'll tell you all the different networks they support. They don't support every network. However, they say it does not hurt to put it because they may support the networks in the future. Uh, for example, I, it did not show that they were supporting Medium. However, Medium is growing really quickly, so I listed it there anyways. In case Google decides to show Medium in a few months, mine's already done. And this right here, you can also add the founder names. You can add a lot more info. I'll show you how to do that. This is just a very simple example. And I put this in the footer file. So it goes on every single page of the website. And then this is the breadcrumb example. And you can see the syntax is slightly different. But what we always see is we see the context will always say schema.org and then the type is the schema type uh, a schema is basically like a, a data type uh, and how we're going to map certain data and the internet has decided to build certain standards and types and there's actually a lot of different types i'll show you in a second and so this is just one of them it's the breadcrumb type and you basically put the position of the breadcrumb so number two number three and so this will be the home page, number one. Number two will be the category. So it'll say like affiliate programs, and then it'll say cryptocurrency, and then it may say Binance in that order in the breadcrumbs. And I'll make sure these are static. Uh, I'm using a PHP file. So it's saying like echo basically the home URL right here. Uh, but I'll make sure that it's, it's not in PHP so you guys better understand it down below. And then let me show you a few other things. So yeah, make sure to test your code snippets, upload it to your URL, then fetch your URL and make sure it's legit. I'll go ahead and show you how that works. 
So we'll run the test. And boom, you can see zero errors, zero warnings. And then if we go and we actually test one, for example, Binance, we click new test. The reason I'm testing this one is because there's going to be an organizational snippet as well as a breadcrumb snippet if everything goes well. And boom, we have two snippets, the organization snippet and the breadcrumb snippet. Zero errors, zero warnings. And let me show you all the different schemas you can use. So you want to go to schema.org and let me actually go back to the home page. And you're going to click schemas in the menu. And there's actually 598 types, almost 600 different types, which is just absolutely crazy. Uh, I highly recommend you click full list of types shown on one page, or you can check out some of these very popular and most commonly used, like how to do a review or a local business. Uh, there's many different snippets, snippets for events, anything, but you can click full list of types. And you know, you can come down here and you can see all the different ones you can use and if we go to a uh, organization let me see and we click organization that's the first snippet we did this will show you all the different uh, properties you can add so we could take address for example and we could say we're on 200 uh, st Strawberry Lane, Florida, USA, or something like that. And of course, put a comma. And then we can come back and we can actually test if this will work with the address now. And boom, it worked. You can see address, type, postal address, name. And so you can play around and you can add all these different uh, you know, properties to really make your brand stick out on Google. So, um, and then also one other thing I wanted to mention, just because schema.org has 598 types does not mean Google supports all of those. So you need to go on Google and search Google rich snippets and kind of play around and see which ones they do support and then figure out which ones you want and then use schema.org to really uh, build it out and also another thing to mention is just because you add some of these rich snippets does not mean Google will actually index them uh, nothing is guaranteed folks however if you don't play the game you're not going to win the game so you might as well win try to win the game and use those rich snippets because the people who are dominating SEO right now they're using rich snippets it just you, when you see something like this like carousel with the nice photo and the reviews how are you even going to compete with just text you're not you're going to get kicked you know you need to use rich snippets if you want to crush your competitors and very few people are actually using them. So it's still very early in the game. Uh, I wanted to do this tutorial because I just really got into rich snippets and I also wanted to give you code examples because I found a lot of the tutorials out there confusing. So if you like this video, make sure to like it, make sure to comment, make sure to subscribe. Uh, let us know what snippets you plan on using. Uh, you know leave your knowledge down below and I'm gonna keep pumping out these more videos and make sure to check out affiliate.watch that's our platform that lists the best affiliate programs out there peace out